Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at an absolutely enormous both render and performance improvement in Bayonetta 2 on Yuzu, this Nintendo Switch emulator. So the build you are looking at right now is a canary version from about 3 to 4 days ago. You can see that performance even in these in-game menus is ranging from anywhere between 10 and around 14 frames per second. You will also see that once we get to this transitional loading screen we are only able to achieve around 6 to a maximum of around 10 frames per second and render quality on the Bayonetta character is not very good at all. You can see that there are some very large transparency issues on some of the tassels coming off of her outfit and you can also see that there is a pretty significantly noticeable black texture being wrapped around her head. So now all we want to do is wait to load in game so we can see what our render quality and our performance is like in this older canary version. So now that we're loaded into game, you can see that there is quite a large amount of texture corruption on all of the geometry in the game world. You can also see that performance wise, we are only able to achieve, as with the previous loading screen, anywhere between around 6 to 10 and sometimes 11 and 12 frames per second. So panning the camera, you can see that this is basically the quality that we were previously having. Let's just run through the next room so we can get an accurate gauge of what our performance and render quality is like. So coming into the next room you can basically see it is exactly the same story. Water is not being rendered, the character models aren't being correctly rendered and lighting is also not being correctly rendered. In this area, as with the previous one, we are also only able to manage a maximum of around 9 and 10 frames per second and practically nothing is being rendered, especially so when we pick up any of these books. You will see that when their images come into frame, they are not being correctly rendered either. You can also see that some of these 2D sections where there should be an overlay in the background, they are also not currently working in this older Canary version. So let's just try to skip past all of these different entries and get back into gameplay where we're going to see our performance is still stuck at anywhere between 8 to 10 frames per second. So I'm going to speed up this gameplay footage just so we can actually get into a gameplay combat situation so we can gauge what our performance is like in that scenario also. So here we are in a combat scenario and you can see that even though we were getting 10 FPS in a normal gameplay, it drops down to around 6, 7 or 8 FPS in any of these situations. Let's now transition over to the latest Canary version of Yuzu Emulator and see what Bayonetta 2 is like there now. So here we are in the latest Canary version of Yuzu Emulator and as you can very clearly see we are getting basically a locked 59 or 60 frames per second in all of these in-game menus. Let's now continue into gameplay and we're going to select continue and once we get into our transitional loading screen you're going to see that not only is performance around 3 to 4 times better but we have much much better render quality on the Bayonetta character model itself. Self. Due to the fact that performance is much much better, load times are much much quicker and once we actually get into gameplay, you can now see that all of these different textures, while yes are not perfectly rendered at all, are now in a much much better state on this game in this emulator. You can see that in this area where we were previously getting maximums of around 8 and 9 frames per second, we are now getting maximums of around 31 frames per second with typical performance lying anywhere between 22 and 27 frames per second. You'll also see that when we pick up any of these books, they are now being correctly rendered and when we come to this overlay screen, you can now see that the 2D textures are also correctly being rendered. Another thing you can see is these destructible crates which generally hold items are also being semi-correctly rendered. However, the most important thing that I want to show you is how the game is performing in combat gameplay. You can see that in this area where we were previously dropping down to 6, 7 and 8 frames per second, we are now getting around 30 to 32 FPS, a tripling in performance across Canary builds in Yuzu. 
So next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this lollipop and then I'm going to head back to the exact same situation we previously tested and get into a combat situation. So let's just pull into this area where you're most likely going to see a frame rate drop just at the very start of combat. We're dropping down to around 14 frames per second but once we actually get into combat and everything gets cached and loaded we should jump back up to anywhere between around 22 and 30 frames per second in combat where we were previously hitting a maximum of 6 and 7. So this just goes to show you that the Yuzu developers are not just concentrating on Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild like a lot of people think they are and that they are in fact concentrating and working on many many other titles on this Nintendo Switch emulator. So if any of you guys want to help with the development of Yuzu this Switch emulator you can find a link to the Yuzu team's Patreon down in the description of this video. Down there you will also find a link to the Patreon for BSOD Gaming so if you want to help to support the channel you can head on over there and pledge and do so also. If there are any games that you want me to test on this Switch emulator just leave a comment down below and if I can get access to that game I will test it for you absolutely no problem or include it in one of my compatibility update guides. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.